Alright everyone, you know what? I'm gonna do a quick little video real fast because you know what? I recently got an advertisement on freaking YouTube earlier today and I just wanna say something real quick. Hunk and I over here, we wanna say something real real fast. If you've been seeing anything about this weird freaking uh, Evertail thing, I also will recommend that you do not actually download this game. It is not free like the advertisements say. They expect you to pay like 99 cents, but still it's like a, it's still going to add up over time because eventually the, all that money that you have to invest into it's going to cost. Now, I'm not here to say whether or not the actual product of what this uh, thing claims it is is good or bad because I almost came close to wanting to download this game until I realized that it was a bad idea, which is why I'm glad I did the research. So, uh, if you're curious enough to research it, just forewarning, they use false advertising to convince people to try to download this game. It's basically a, uh, it's kind of a, what people, you know, around these areas would call a Pokemon ripoff. It basically has a lot of anime girls. Like, the real game has anime girls and, um, you know, fake creatures that are supposed to be parodies to Pokemon, but aren't. In my personal opinion, when I saw some of the art, they looked more like Digimon more so than Pokemon. Although the dragon squirrel looking thing could potentially be a stand-in for Pikachu. Possibly. My whole thing here is, is I want to warn you guys not to fall victim for that scam or whatever, because even though people talked about this like months ago, I'm still to this day getting random like, uh, random like ads for this, you know, game, but with advertisements that clearly are not the game that it's advertising. And that's what I'm here want to warn you guys about because basically evertel has got this bad track history record of basically using overly graphic kind of bloody gory violent you know subject material to appeal to people to manipulate folks to actually you know get this game by claiming it's free and making it look like it's this JRPG horror, scary, Pokemon parody, creepypasta-esque looking game that mixes multiple genre of different game uh, styles, mechanics, and like, just in general. And technically, in a legal standpoint, would technically get them in trouble by various different companies, I'm sure, no doubt. But my message to them directly is, is if you've got the time to literally make these fake advertisements because trust me i saw a youtuber talk about watch and discuss about 260 something of these fake ads that these people made just for this one game alone on top of the fact that they pointed out that this company also makes ads that shows actual footage and what the game actually looks like but still insists on using the fake stuff anyways. So I don't really know. Like, I'm not one to say, you know, hate on something right off the bat, but like, because here's the thing. I don't mind scary games. I really don't. I almost wanted to get the game because I thought it was something it wasn't. So just do your research first, I suppose. It's, it's important to do your research first. So just stick with the games you know are actually going to be what you what they're supposed to be. Like, for example, I'd recommend playing Mother Cognitive Dissonance Between Two Times instead. That actually is a free game you can play, and it's a, uh, you know, an RPG-style game, and is very long, and has a lot of replayability. So, because I'm currently replaying that again on my gaming on my gaming laptop now, and I've actually gotten pretty far. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I would recommend something like that over this stupid, be you know, stupid shenanigans. Even Hunk would agree. See, he's saying a heck yes to that. <laughs> um, and yeah, amazing the background is too. <laughs> See, like, because I want you guys to be safe. I don't want y'all being scammed. 
And on the slight chance that you accidentally see these freaking advertisements, and it's like early in the morning too, because like I said, they're really scary. And I'm surprised no one pointed it out, but I think only one other person mentioned it, but some of the stuff that they were borrowing in their like ad fake ads to get people to buy this game, or trick them into thinking that it was free from the get-go, uh, basically, um, some parts looked like they took it straight out of, like, Chrono Trigger for some reason. And, that was weird. Uh, I wanted to point out that the parts where it actually had, like, a woman with, like, an eyeball for a head, and it kept showing, like, this girl trying to avoid a woman coming after her, that's actually based off of a scary game that I saw a different YouTuber play. I want to say it was either, either BG Mike or Jay from the Cub Scouts. But either way, they play a game that had something to do with those two concepts. It not ever tell, but like, the thing that I was talking about a second ago. Because like, that game uses so many fake stuff in it, it's not even funny. And... That's the sad part. It's like, dude. So, my thoughts was that, you know, if this company is going to continuously scam people and steal money from people that genuinely thought it was a scary, creepypasta-esque parody Pokemon game, then I don't see a problem with, like, the people that are having their money stolen from them with this man manipulation tactic. Them having the right to basically taking these ads and saving them to their devices and just creating this game themselves and an RPG maker thing themselves. You know, like, make it their own and not, like, straight up, like, do what the company's doing and steal stuff without permission. But, like, take the general idea and just run with it since, you know, they obviously have no shame in lying to the general public about it. So yeah, do not download the Evertel thing if you think that it's going to be a scary RPG Pokemon creepypasta-like game that's like adult-oriented because it's not. I have heard people say that the actual product of what it actually is is not that bad of a game, but then other people say it is. I won't be able to give you input on that because I don't have it. And obviously, I'm not going to be able to, since you obviously do have to pay to actually play the game. It's not free like they say it is. So if you get advertisements at all going forward for this, just know that any ad you see that's all dark, dark themed and has creepy, you know, kind of content going on with it, it's fake. It's not real. I mean, it's cool to look at, I guess, to a degree. Like, in a weird way, the ads are interestingly put together, but I would not condone supporting straight-up liars that make, you know, that do that, because they're just openly taking advantage of people. And they almost would have had me fooled if it weren't for the fact that I was curious enough to look more into it to see what other people thought about it first. So... Yeah, do not download that game because you're just going to be disappointed. Unless you're okay with playing Pokemon spinoff games that have anime women in it. A lot more anime women and less of the monsters that you would be collecting. Which I don't understand why that concept even exists if the game's supposed to be a monster collector game. But there's more women involved instead. Because last time I checked, women are not monsters. And you don't just go around collecting them all, quote unquote. But whatever, I, I'm not. I'm not that company. I don't know what their and like what their mental process is on stuff like that. But they need to get it together. Cause that fake ad that they have for that game has more going on for for it than the people behind it, and that's kind of sad. Now, I'm not condoning to go after the people that are making this nonsense, but, you know, just be careful. Like, don't accidentally make the mistake of deciding to get to get the game thinking that it's going to be something it's not, and then get disappointed, and then wonder why you're being charged on your account, because it actually costs money to get the game. 
because I want to add in like everyone else has been saying, because I recently saw an advertisement for this, uh, a fake ad, rather, for this game today. And I just want to warn people. Because I almost got fooled by that as well, because I like dark, dark games. I do, from time to time, play stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, if you're like me and you like dark stuff, I just want you to be careful and to not accidentally, like, get manipulated by these people because that is such a low-down thing for people like that to be doing. <laughs> I don't know why. Like, if you're going to take the initiative to actually make ads that you know people are going to like, then why not even go through the trouble of actually making the game be the thing that you're advertising if you already knew from the get-go that people were going to click it because you're showing it as something it's not. You obviously did the homework. Why are you not going to finish it? They started off good, but then they, you know, then they decided to, you know, cheap their way out. Doesn't make any sense. And honestly, I don't think they should be charging, you know, like, if we were to assume that this game was real, you know. Like, the ads weren't fake. When the game really was like that, then, like, they wouldn't be able to make money off of that anyways because they stole all those ideas from other companies. So, yeah. That's all I wanted to say real quick. I'm gonna have to cut this short. I'm not feeling too great. But, yeah. See you next time.